Hello, my lovely friends. Today I'll be teaching you how to make handbag to carry your laptop, your books. It's very, very easy to make. So I will be needing the, um, the length of the bag is this. 45 the length of the bag is 45 is 45 why the wideness of this uh, bag is 15 inches you measure 15 inches plus sewing allowance that is 16 inches 16 inches the wideness is 44 both the sewing allowance and the the main uh, inches is inside is 45. So this and it I will be needing a lining for it. The same measurement, 45 the length. Why the wideness is 15 inches include the same allowance. I to be having this um the handle of it i've already done this handle, but i will explain to you how i make this handle the handle here is uh, is two inches the handle is two inches the wideness the length of this handle is same is the same 45 44 inches but the seam allowance is inside it see how i made this handle I cut out this lining, the same 45 inch, the length, the wideness, I cut it 3 inches. But after sewing everything, it will remain 2 inches. So I cut out this one, the length 44, while the wideness of it, I cut it 3 inches. Now after that, I fold both of them together. I, I turn the face of the, the main fabric and the face of this uh, line i fold it together and sew it straight down and i sew this particular side again like this it's uh, optional you may sew it may not sew it but for this side here i sew it down and other side there i sew it after that i bring it outside i hope you understand what i'm trying to explain to you just for you to know how to sew the the handle of it is very very easy like i said i cut out this lining here this is the lining and i cut out the main fabric i sew it together i turn it face to face the face together like this and make sewing straight sewing straight down and the same thing i sew this side and i sew this side and i bring it out like this i bring it out for me to get this uh, handle i hope you understand this particular this explanation is very easy to make. So let's go into the video to the main fabric. Now, remember I said I cut this 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 two the length 40, 44 while the wideness is 14 plus the seam allowance 15 inches. So see what I want to do now. I will take it to the machine and sew from this edge here. From the ending here. Look at what I'm I'm trying to show you so I face it again as in the face I face these two face together like this I'm going to be pinning it for you to see what I'm doing so I pin it I'll pin it straight down so I pin it I pin this uh, I pin from this edge here down to this edge i'm not being i'm not showing this side yet this waist area i'm not showing it yet look at i'm not showing this side now this is where i'm sewing this particular this the ending of this place this that is place i'll be sewing now i've pinned it straight down to this place remember i'm not showing this side now i will sew this side and at the end again the side of the the end the two ending so I sew the two ends from here to here. I hope you understand what I'm showing you. So if I sew from this side to the end of this side, 
and I come to this side again, I sew from this ending here to this side now. So I'm taking I want to take it to my machine to go and sew it and bring this for you to see. Remember, I'm not sewing this side, this is the width side. I'm not sewing it for now. This is the place I'm sewing. I hope you understand what I'm doing now. I've sewed it. See what I mean? After that, I remove the pin. Especially for the beginners, before sewing any of your work, try and pin your work. It's very, very necessary to avoid shifting. So I've removed the pin and I've sewn it. I've made the sewing straight. Look at this. I hope you can see what, I, uh, what I've done there. I sew it round. And I come to this side again and remove the, the pin. So I've removed the pin. So I will turn it now. Look what I will do now. I will turn it. To the right place see the place remember i did not sew this area i'm not sewing it for now um. so you can use any fabric to make this uh, this handbag So, see we have so this place see what i made now this place now let me explain something here this is the place i will use for the face as in when i cover it i want this fabric to show i want like two inches i hope you see what i'm doing I want like two inches, and this is two inches I've measured. Two inches. So, so after I've removed it like this, turn it. Depends how you want your us your your own to be. How wide you want it to be, and how long you want it to be. Depends the, the size of the laptop you're going to use it to, to carry or books, you know. It depends how you want it. Like in this particular one now, I want it to come up, to be wide enough and long. Now I want, for this, this, this particular side will be the one to cover it. It's going to be like this. Look at it like this. How long you want it. This is how, you know, remember the length is 45. 44. Now, depends how you want the laptop you want to carry or your books or whatever things you want to use it to carry. Now, this is how it is now. I want to fold from the edge of this side up to this side here. Like I said, it's choice. It depends how wide or long you want it to be. I want mine to stop this side. If I measure it like this, it's going to give me 13. 13 yes 13 so i measure the length from here to up to this side i can decide to take it up to this side and it will cover this is the cover up like this but i don't want it like that i want it i want to make it like this um, i want it to stop here you can you can use your chalk to mark where you want it to be because you measure it like I, like I said, I measure, okay, I measure 12 inches. I'm okay with this 12. The, the, this, the cover, this 12 cover is okay. It's going to cover it like this. See how it is? So it will still have um, space here. If you like, you can make it even more smaller like this. And you can even make it like this. It's still the same thing. This is the main fabric here. But like I said, I want it to be like this. I'm trying to explain it for you to understand it very, very well. So this is where I want it to be. So I'm going to take it to the machine now to sew it. I'm going to be sewing from this side here. I will sew it straight down to this side. 
like I said, remember I said I fold it to the place I want the wideness and the length to be. This is where I want it to be. So I will take it to my machine now to sew it. I will sew it straight down to this side. And before then, I will take my handle. I have explained how to do this handle. The length is the same length to the, the main fabric, the main back fabric. 45, 45 is the okay, 44 is the okay. And if you want the wide, the, the length of this uh, handle to be more than that, depends what you want. So I've already, I've already explained to you how I sew this handle and turn it to the right side. So I will take this handle like this. Make sure you arrange you, you, uh, you arrange it well. Arrange it well so that it will stand very well. So what I mean, I'll fold it into two like this. I will take it to the mesh. Before sewing it, I will, it's going to be like this. It's going to be like this. So this is the, the handle. It's going to be like this. See what I make? So how will I put it to this? I will take it like this. Before I sew it, I will take it and put it like this. You see? I'll put it like this. I use my pin to pin it down. Like I said, pin is very important for this job. So avoid shifting. If you want your work to be accurate and neat, make sure you pin it. Use pin and pin the hand like this. So I've pinned this particular side. I pin one side. I take, you, you see, you see in one line, I will take it again to this other side. So I will take it like this. Make sure you arrange it well. So as you know, good. See what I'm doing now. Arrange it well. How you want it to be and put it inside. Like this. And pin it. I use my pin and pin it like this. See what I mean? I hope you understand this now. I put this one here, this one handle here, inside the, inside this, inside the hole of this. Let me explain again. Look at it. I put it inside like this, and I pin it. And I take the other side of the handle and put it like that. So when I'm done, it's gonna be like this. See the side to come out and it will be like this. So I will take it to my machine now and sew it. I will sew it from this side straight down here. And come to this other side here. I will sew it from here again. Remember to to sew this handle again that is in between. I said one thing, I want to explain one thing again. Uh, I said you I I should I will remove uh, two inches from this mouth. I've changed my mind. I'm not doing it again because of the, the fabric I'm using is not enough like that. So but you can if you want this fabric to show here, just make sure you just take it inside and measure it into two like this. The wideness how you want it to be. And so, but this one I'm not making it. I'm just going to take only like a quarter or half for it because of the fabric I'm using. So I will take it like this now. It, when you are so, when I'm sewing it now, sew it from here. Sew it from there to this side. If before reaching the up here, I will fold this one. Before getting to this up, the upper side, I'll now make sure that I bring up to one inches. Like I said, because of my fabric, one is inches is okay for me. I take one inch, I do it like this. Look at this. I think the little fabric tissue, the, the main fabric tissue, and I sew it. Yeah? So I will come to this side again. I will just, like I said, I take like one inch, I just, from the main fabric, I just push it down and push the, I just push the lining inside little and bring this uh, main fabric like this, like one inch. You can make your own more than one inch. You can make two. Depends how uh, the, 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 the how many fabric you're using, as in the the length. Maybe if you use 
if you if if you want it to like two inches, uh, if you cut the line the length forty four, because you want this this fabric to show, just make it um that forty four. Why the lining will be you lost my not two inches, so that the lining to be forty five. You made the line to be forty two because you want to use that forty two the two the two inches to bring to make it to be at the front part. Like like in this tutorial, look at, like in this video. The, the main the main length of this fabric is 43 because I want to make something like this that is why I make it 44 I hope you understand what I'm trying to explain to you now after bringing it like this I will sew on top I will sew it straight down I will sew it up to this side so I want to take it to my machine now to go and sew it so I'm done with the sewing so look at what I do I put the line the handle inside like this like i said and put the, the handle inside like this and sew it here so i sew straight line from this side down to this side the same thing here i sew straight line here so after that here is the pocket this is, this is the cover so i turn it so I turn it. See how to make simple handbag. It's a um, fabric, very easy to make. Not to thirty minutes, you are done with it. So this is the handle. After that. This is how you're gonna do. But before then, this is what you will do. Going to the hemming it. Look at this place. You see the rough edge. Don't use this line to turn it. No. I'll going to the hemming it like this. Go to fold it once like this. Half inches and fold it again like this with half inches. And hem it down. This is how the hemming will be. Going to hem it all through down. I'll hem it from the inside. I'll start the hemming from the. I will turn it again and do the because the inside is rough. So I want to use the my needle to do the hemming. So I will use it like this. Like I said, I will fold. I will fold the half inches like this. Fold half inches like this. And fold it again. This here, I use I use my needle to do the the hemming. I hope you know how to hem um, like this. I do the hemming like this. Just make sure that the thread is not so around here. Just make it straight down. I hem it. You can even use the this lining to turn everything. After that, you fold it like this to get this uh, this pocket inside, and use your this thing, a machine to sew it. But I don't want it in that way. This is how I want it to be. Because I'm making it for students. They ask them to make it for their for their practical. So I'm trying to teach them how to do it. This is how because in, in their school, they are going to use hand needle like this to make this uh, this tutorial. So because I'm teaching the I want them to know how to do it in their in their own easier way. That is why I need I use need a um, machine to Run the straight sewing before hemming it. So, like I said, you can just sew everything, turn it like this, and use your machine. So you either use your machine or use your hand needle to sew if you can use your hand needle to sew you. So it will be very easy to make. So I'm going to be doing this hemming all the way down to this side and this side. After that, like I said, after that I turn it inside again. This is how to make 
bag, handbag with the fabric. You can use Ankara to make it in any fabric of yours. You can use it. So I'm done with it. So this is how it goes. I will be put uh, aiming it like I said. After that, I can use a, I can use a, I can put button here and use it to to be holding it. Or I can put plaster. You know that plaster. I just sew the plaster around and sew it here and use it to be gumming it. So it's very easy to make. So we'll give it a try and see how it will come out. Please, if you know you have not subscribed before watching this video, help me to subscribe on this my channel. Like this my video and share this my video. God bless you as you do so. Thank you very much.